I filmed this video a while ago now, but what's covered in it is really relevant to our ongoing quest to learn the secrets of steak perfection. It's a video I took at the Sydney Royal Easter Show, and I just went around talking to the judges and asking them what makes the perfect steak. If you listen carefully, you'll pick up some real gems of wisdom. Listen out for what these cattlemen say about choosing the right fat cover on your meat. I apologise that some of the video is a little bit out of focus, but I've included it here because I learned a lot listening to these guys, and I hope you will too. Okay, so we've come here today to the Sydney Royal Easter Show, and our job today is to track down the perfect steak. Now, I know it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So, I know that the cattle are over here, so let's head over to the cattle pavilion. 22.22, So, in our quest to discover the perfect steak, we're here today at the Sydney Royal Trade Hoof and Carcass Competition. And what we're looking for today is just what the judges are judging for in this competition and how that translates into a great piece of beef on our plate. So let's go and have a look and see what we can come up with. Come with me. So I'm here with an old friend of mine, Rob Cinnamon, who's the chairman today of the steer judging competition. G'day Rob, how are you going? Great to catch up. Yeah, great to see you, you again. Too. Yeah. Tell me, how important is genetics in getting cattle to this stage? What I'm trying to understand is when we're talking about that perfect piece of steak on your plate, so much has gone into that, so much breeding and thought and preparation. How important is genetics and the breeding to that? The genetics are the building blocks or the, or the framework for the whole the, the, the whole process and, and ultimately for that steak that, you, that yes. finds its way onto the plate. And uh, So genetics uh, play a very important role. Uh, the, the, the better the growth, the better the, the mm -hmm. quality, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, structure, uh, muscle, all those things come into play when yes. it comes to, to bringing yes. that, that ideal steer that produces that old, ideal piece of meat at the end of the day. Well, I'm here with David Kent, long-time associate of the Sydney Royal Beef Cattle Show. It's proven that you need that fat cover for that tender, that, when you say, oh, that's a beautiful piece of beef. Yep. Uh, and, and very tender, it's because it's it's had that fat cover. It, it's, it's tender mm -hmm. and it's, it's juicy. Mm. That juiciness will come from that fat cup. Now we've got this big, beautiful bit of magnum or heart. This magnum or heart, yes. Well. So that's why you, get, you pay a bit more for those type of ice creams, but you're getting a lot more ice cream, and that, the butcher thinks the same. I've got my paddle pop stick holding it up, but I've got this big bit around. Jock, you were saying about fat. Can you just explain to us again why fat is so important and getting the right coverage and the right amount of fat throughout the beast? Well, if, you, if, you, if you don't have fat cover on the carcass, when it hangs up in the chiller, it goes dark. You need a certain mm -hmm. amount of fat cover. The heavier the carcass, the more fat you need. Okay. Intramuscular fat um, relates to the tenderness, tenderness of So that's marbling. Food. People that's might marbling. know that as marbling. Yes. Grand champion steer of the 2012 Royal Easter Show. 